Joining us now exclusively from Madison, Wisconsin this morning is Tegan's father, Dr. Alex Marty, along with the family's attorney, Stuart Grossman. Good to have both of you with us again. Uh, Dr. Marty, first of all, how's Tegan doing? Uh, Tegan is uh, critical but stable and uh, making progress every day. And, and but every day is a new day. She's, she's able to communicate a little bit by blinking, is that correct? That's correct. Uh, she, uh, yes is uh, one blink, no is no blink. Um, and I know there, there's going to be an update on her condition. Um, you've been by her side since this happened. You're from Florida. Have you gone home at all or have you just stayed right there? No, we've been here in Madison uh, the whole time. Uh, Mr. Grossman, you just heard yes. a little bit from, uh, from the attorney who was with us yesterday. Um, you've heard the explanation from his client as to what happened. How do you respond to that? Well, <clears throat> first of all, in terms of the civil case, uh, the negligence is absolutely clear. With respect to what his attorney said yesterday, that uh, he blanked uh, at the uh, time of this incident, when did he blank and what does that term mean? He had to remove the safety harness from Tegan. He had to unfasten it. Then he had to put it down, he had to move over and release her. Uh, these are conscious volitional acts. Uh, you hardly are blanking during that period of time. You're doing something, you're doing something affirmative. And what he did, in my opinion, does show an utter disregard for human life, especially when you add to the fact that he's admitted that he never looked down to see if the nets were in place. Uh, how can that be thought of as anything other than uh, an utter disregard for her life? I know that um, you, you sent a letter, and in this letter, and I'm quoting here, you said, in all capital letters, it is vitally important that the ride terminal velocity not be altered, repaired, modified, or changed to any degree whatsoever until you'd had a chance to examine it. As Ben just mentioned in his report, CBS yes. News obtained this report, that there had been some work going on on the ride. Do you have any further information on what was actually happening at that point and why they were working on the ride at 2 in the morning? Well, uh, the police report itself says that the manager admitted that the arms that are used to elevate this machine were hopelessly rusted, that they hadn't been repaired in over eight years, maintained. Uh, and then we have it on absolute authority that they also put a red tape marking how high the platform should have been lifted that would have engaged the nets. A simple safety matter that could have been uh, done by the manufacturer, by the ride operator at any time prior to this incident. So an important visual for anybody who's operating that ride. Do you believe that any of that work that was being done at that point was being done as a result of Tegan's accident? Absolutely. And uh, uh, yes, I do. Let, let me say this to you. Uh, you don't do maintenance at 2 o'clock in the morning, okay? Uh, especially after you've received a letter from a child's lawyer saying, don't alter this machine, don't do any repairs. What is that? And have you heard? Uh, if not something. Have ahead. you heard I'm back? Sorry. I'm sorry, have you heard back from the amusement park at this point in response to that? Yeah, interestingly enough, I got a letter uh, yesterday afternoon from the insurance company's lawyer saying all, all they did, all they were doing was putting a piece of red tape at the appropriate height, and they asked me if I wanted it taken off. And I said, absolutely not. Leave it there. So if they ever do reopen this ride, this won't happen again, hopefully. But I certainly didn't expect them to do uh, repairs to the structure at 2 o'clock in the morning. And fortunately, the police came by and they saw this and documented it and were grateful for all they've done. It's a terrible story. We will continue to follow it. And, and Dr. Marty, we do wish you the best and we'll continue to follow Tegan's recovery. And we hope there's some, some very good news for your family soon. Thank you very much. Thank you, Ms. Hill.